Hello, everybody. I am testing out the audio. Um, big testing right now because last week it went bad uh, and we had to do something last second. So let me know how the audio sounds, please. Okay, how is that? I turned it down a little bit because it looked like it was being like a little crackly, maybe? Is that better? Cooper says it's good. Hi, everybody in the chat. Hi, Mango Juice. Hi, Akari. Big hi to Auntie Duo, who is actually working on the heart right now. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, well, we're going to get going in just a second. By the way, uh, 250 likes. We didn't hit it last live stream, so we're going to keep that uh, goal on this live stream. If this video gets 250 likes, we will do another giveaway. So like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. I'll get my, I'll be honest, I'll get my, uh... Akari coming in hot with those heavy questions before the stream even starts. It says, what should I crochet? That's easy enough, but still kind of challenging and an animal. I mean, do an octopus. They're pretty easy uh, and you can kind of up the challenge if you want. It's also a free tutorial and it's, yeah, I think that's a good one. That's a good one. I don't know. What do you guys think? What what should Akari make? They want to make an animal that's somewhat easy to make. start with this camera. Did I do it right? Wow, I look so short because the camera's tilted up. <laughs> Hi everybody! Welcome to the stream! Sorry I'm a little bit late, but I think I got the audio fixed. I think what happened last week was that the camera utility system was all broken and and because that got broken, I like updated it before the stream and because that got updated, it messed up the, the wire to mess up the camera or to mess up the audio. It was like a whole thing. It's super annoying, but I got it fixed and I'm sorry it took me so long. I really should have done it last night and I meant to, but then I got caught up playing 
Super Smash Brothers, and it's not a, it's just a big thing. Okay, who cares so what? Uh, hi, everybody. <laughs> Happy almost Valentine's Day. Today, we're gonna be making a, an anatomical human heart. Check it out. Yeah. Ah! Oh. Oh. Still works, too. Ouch. Okay, let's switch cameras. And stop goofing around already. Jeez Louise. Jeez Louise. <laughs> How have I never said that before? Hi. I'm in, a, I'm in a goofy mood. I'm always in a goofy mood. But I'm in an extra goofy mood. Why? No reason at all. Literally no reason. I just kind of felt like it. Today, we're going to be crocheting an anatomical human heart. Now, I'm going to get you guys help a lot on this video because we're gonna be adding faces and stuff I need your help with veins I'm I was thinking about doing it in a different color but you know what it's anatomical we gotta make it red right I think so too uh oh is the chat not gonna work okay leaf sauce just chatted let's see if the chat will update you know there's always something that's broken always something always watching Wazowski Go ahead and hit done there and maybe that'll work you know okay I got another idea for next time and I'm gonna put the chat in the preview thing so that we can preview the chat to make sure that that's working also okay get back in there oh, pulling your heart out. oh I know I know I gotta stop ripping my heart out of my chest hey the chats working cool very cool okay I think we should Go through the whole spiel. All right, let me go through the whole spiel and uh, and then we'll get started crocheting. So first off, I love you. Thank you for joining. Make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, great. Today, <laughs> we're making an anatomical human heart. Here's what you need if you wanna crochet it with me. The first thing you're gonna need is the pattern. Now the good news is I made the pattern totally for free today. So if you wanna get the crochet pattern, it's right here, clubcrochet.com slash heart. I'm gonna put it in the chat right now and lock it to the, or pin it to the, the chat so that way you can really easily get it. Get the pattern free today here. Do do do, heart, boom. That was quick. Pin that message, okay, there we go. All right, so it's pinned at the top of the chat. If you wanna reach it, there should be a link in the description as well. And uh, knowing Cooper, he'll probably toss it in the chat every now and then too, uh, just because that's how he do, because he rocks. <laughs> Besides the pattern, you're gonna need the following things. We're using all worsted weight yarn, 100% cotton. It's what I like to do. It would be kind of cool to try to make a giant heart by using like thick, chunky yarn, but I'm just gonna be using worsted weight yarn today. And the main color we're gonna need, obviously, is the red. You're gonna need a little bit of pink and a little bit of blue, and that's gonna be for all the veins. And then maybe, if you want to, a little bit of black yarn, that's gonna be used for making a face, because I think it'd be fun to make a face for our heart today. Uh, because, yeah, I just think that'd be cute, and I don't have one with a face on it, so that just seems like a fun thing to do. If you wanna do a face, you're also gonna need some safety eyes. I'm gonna be using eight millimeter safety eyes in this video. If you want a bottle of eyes like this, they are in the shop as well as a bunch of other things. Uh, speaking of, oh, last thing. You're gonna need a crochet hook. I'm gonna be using a size G four millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and of course, a darning needle. I'm gonna be using a crimped end like that. Um, and then some stuffing also. I actually, you know what? I have a squeaker somewhere. All right, all right, all right. Relax, Louie. Relax. Throwing crap all over the place. Okay, I don't know where it is, but it would be kind of cool to put a squeaker in this. Make a squeaky heart. Um, okay, so that's all the stuff that you're gonna need while you're getting your materials. Let's talk about how you can support this channel, and I'll also clean this out. If you want to support this channel, there's a few ways you can do so. The first easy, cheap, super free-ish way 
is just to like this video down below, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, uh, and push the little bell icon so you don't miss it when we come out with new live streams like this. That's the easiest, freest way to, to support the channel. If you wanna support this channel monetarily, well now we're talking, that is a different story. Um, if you want to support monetarily, the best way to support monetarily is with a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the exclusive library of tutorials. I add new ones every single month. The newest one that we just added to the library was for this little cobalt that just came out just the other day. Um, but I'm actually also testing out a pattern for a little miniature dragon, which you can find at clubcrochet.com slash previews. Uh, and you need a membership level account to test this pattern out. Give me your feedback before I turn it into a fully fledged pattern with a video tutorial and all that other stuff. I think it's super cute, super cool. Check it out there. That's the best way to support monetarily. Other ways you can support monetarily, we have merch, kits, and materials in the shop, like eyes and stuff. Uh, soon I'll have yarn, hopefully. Um, and then the last way you can help support is with a tip. If you really like what's going on here and you want to tip me, it would be really cute. It'd be really cool. All you got to do is go to clubcrochet.com slash tip. There is a link in the description as well. And if you tip, we are going to add something beautiful to the background. Let's switch to the tip cam. Cooper starting off great with a $10 tip, which means he's going to be added to the tree that's not here yet. Uh, my dad is currently working on a giant metal tree that we're going to be adding here so that all these little magnetic characters that we've been compiling can all go on top of this tree. We're going to do pom poms and stuff on the tree too. It's going to be super cute. I am going to, it's going to be really cool. Cooper just supported for 10 bucks. So we're going to add something over here, but if you support for more, if you support for 25 or more, I'll add you to this here. This is going to be a big scene, hopefully, by the end of the year. We're going to continuously be adding things to it. And then uh, if you really are crazy and you want to support for $50 or more, we'll add you to the Cubes of Glory, which is, you know, glorious. Uh, okay, but let's add something for Cooper. Cooper, Cooper, the Super Trooper. Let's do, you know what? We don't have one of these yet up there. We'll have to use a magnet for it. We're gonna add a little cow, a little cow bottomal for Cooper. New bottomal patterns should be coming out pretty soon. I'm gonna work on them to come out uh, in the next few weeks. Um, let's put the cow on the corner of this box here. So it'll be like, It'll be like that. So now we got a cow, we got our little demon. There's our cow right there. Thank you for your support, Cooper. I super duper appreciate you. And yes, happy Valentine's Day, early Valentine's Day to you as well. Oh, okay. Now, where is the squeakers that I have? I swear I have squeakers. Let me check my bag real quick. Cause I think they might be in my miscellaneous. Oh yeah. That was easy. Perfect. Check it out. I got these little squeakers. This will be perfect. We'll add one of these to the heart too so it can squeak. And hopefully we don't have Jimbo frothing to get in here because you know he will. So I'm going to put one of these squeakers right there too. Okay. Now we've got quite a big pattern to start working on here. Hey, look at that, guys. That might have been the quickest intro I've done in a while. So let's take a sip of tea to uh, celebrate. My mom got me this teacup. Look at it, it's so silly. Can you read it? Uh, you can't say it, you can't read it, but it says, I work hard so my cat can have a better life. So my mom is pretty, pretty um, accepting that I am a cat addict. Cause I like my kitty cat. Oh, Johnny, thank you so much, Johnny. You don't, <laughs> Johnny, you're really sweet. That is really, really sweet of you. Thank you for your, for your support. Um, so one thing I want to start doing 
I need to get pom poms because what I want to do eventually is once we have that tree, I want to do any tips that are less than ten dollars. We I want to add pom poms in different colors to the tree so that it consist consistently builds up. But I don't have them yet, unfortunately. Um, yeah, Zoe, you need to get yourself some squeakers. I think actually I might do some heart kits. Uh, I've got some extra yarn. I was winding some kits for uh the strawberries, and I found out that the it's almost the same amount of yarn to make a a heart. Uh, so I actually have a bunch of them already. So I thought let's do maybe we'll do some heart crochet kits, and I'll put the rest of my squeakers in those kits. So I'll try to get those into the shop uh next week if I can. Um, but we got some, we got a lot of things coming, coming soon. Can you hear the audio? Is there any background music? Can you hear me? Oh no, there is not background music. There we go. All right. Let me know if that gets too loud or anything. <laughs> okay. Louie, you can make pom-poms with yarn. Oh, you know I can make pom-poms with yarn. I actually have a tutorial, I think, for that. Okay, so we're gonna start by making, making the Vena Cava, which are going to be, I think these are the Vena Cava. They're these little, the tiniest little crocheted things. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see them crochet. Now that doesn't sound right, does it? Or maybe these are the Vanakava? Do I have a picture here? Man, there needs to be a picture that says like, this is what all these pieces are. Hmm. Okay, looks like we gotta fix this pattern up later too. Okay, I'm pretty sure Vanakava are going to be these things or these ones. Yes, I think they're supposed to be these ones. On the pattern, for some reason, I wrote it where it's supposed to be single crochet three stitches, but I think it's supposed to be six. One, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's totally. I think it's these ones. And then the mini valves are these ones that are five. That you're supposed to make four of. Wait, four of? Where are those going? One, two, three. No, 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 no. Palmary arch, I know that one. This is the, this is the palmary arch. And this is the aortic arch, which is gonna be this thing that goes in there, right? And then pulmonary veins are gonna be these little guys. Okay, so we got pulmonary veins which are really tiny. We've got the aortic arch, or I'm sorry, aortic arch, which is this one, the pulmonary arch, which is this one. Look at that, you guys, you're learning science today. The mini valves, which are gonna be these ones, one, two, three, and four. And then the vena cava, which are these big boys in the back, which should be six single crochets in the round. So I'm gonna have to fix that up after this after this okay okay sorry i've been not looking at the chat making sure this pattern is hunky dory okay so we're gonna start with the vena cava ouch ouch how do you get yarn fibers in your eyes with a lot of a lot of oh <laughs> tom oh my god tom the yeti who is consistently in the chat uh, said that they'd love to hang out, but they get super creeped out by hearts and veins and stuff, so they can't do it today. That's okay. Thanks for joining. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's an anatomy lesson and a crochet lesson in one. That's right. I'm sorry, Tom. I appreciate you letting me know, though. That's funny. Um, okay. The aortic arch should have three, the three vessels coming out of it. So that should be this one right no no that's a pulmonary arch i thought 
man, I gotta do I gotta do some math. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, and six. This is how we make this. And then we chain, we slip stitch to the first one right over here, like that. And then I'll do six single crochets into the chain, into each of these chains. I think I'm gonna try working into the back loops of the chains to see how that looks. Cause I think it might give us a little cleaner of a, of an edge, which would be nice. Now, this is actually one of the first patterns I ever, ever, ever made. One of my first, I just thought it was such a cool idea. I made this in high school actually. Hence why probably a little bit of a funky pattern and needs a little, a little loving, but you know what? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Oh, it's correct on the pattern. Okay, the big arch on the top is the aortic arch. Okay, cool. But it is correct on the pattern. Thank you, Mango. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. It's just been so long. I haven't made one of these in years. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we need two more. I think. Go right here. I'm just working the back loops of these chains because I am extra and I want to be extra today. If I can get this right there, we go. Right there, we go. That. There we go. Clayton, your apologies for being late. I'm never going to forgive you, Clayton. Ever. No, I'm just kidding. You can. It's all good. Thanks you for thank you, thanks you for joining. <laughs> um, okay, one, two, three, four, five, and then that should be six. So we can just slip stitch to this one right here, like that. Right? Make sure. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so this gets slip stitched, and we're gonna make two of these. That's a good start. Yeah, we got quite a live stream ahead of us actually, because this is a pretty, this is a pretty um, in-depth pattern. There's a lot of little parts and stuff sewn together. So we got some work to do. All right, a I'm a Kiwi. Well, thanks for joining Kiwi. Maybe I'll see you in a little bit. Don't miss your bus. Thanks for joining. Ooh, Sunshine, that's so cool. Okay, Sunshine said that they are using the Stitched game to get their grandson to do their homework. <laughs> Every week he does his homework, he gets a new piece for the game. That is too cute. I love that. Yeah, kids, you know, I did. I needed a lot of motivation to get my homework done when I was a kid also. So I totally get that. I totally get it. All right, we're going to slip stitch this to make a ring that and then we will oh wait hold on hold on hold on i feel like i twisted that chain around like a doofus let's try that again chester hey chester how you doing how has you, everyone's week been by the way oh hannah i was thinking i was just thinking that hannah said uh did you see the new tears of the kingdom trailer of course I did. Me and Jules watched the entire uh, direct last night um, while we ate dinner because we're a couple of dweebs. And it was a very good Nintendo Direct. There are some really good games coming out soon. I'm super duper excited, especially for, um, well, you know what I'm excited for. Pikmin, baby. I'm excited for Pikmin. Pikmin's one of my favorite games of all time, so they're making a new one. And I'm so excited for it. I'm gonna be doing some Pikmin patterns uh, in the next few, probably in the next month or so. Um, they are also actually preview patterns right now for the first uh, three Pikmin, the red, blue, and yellow Pikmin. So we'll probably, they've been a preview pattern for quite a while now, so I think it's about time for me to turn them into official patterns. So I'll be working on that in the next few 
weeks after I finish up the dragon and I want to finish up a little miniature elephant as well. That should be pretty cool. We could split it into a two part live stream if that takes too long for what? Oh, this one. Oh yeah, uh, that actually might work out, but you know what? I think we can do it. I really do. I think we can do this in one live stream. I don't think it'll take us more than three hours at least. Maybe, who knows. Next week, I've got um, a kind of a fun one. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I got a kind of a fun idea for a live stream next week. Uh, I was gonna do a treasure chest. I thought, oh, let's do a treasure chest. You know, keep that fantasy thing going. But it's my mom's birthday the day after the live stream. So I thought, well, you know what? Instead, let's do the live stream and make something for my mom for the live stream. So I, I'm gonna design something for my mom next live stream. We're, I think I'm gonna do a um, a tulip. She really likes tulips. I thought they were her favorite flower, but she said they're not her favorite flower, but she really, really likes tulips and she'd love a tulip. So we're gonna make one of those. Um, you know what's funny? She didn't actually tell me what her favorite flower was when I when we had this conversation. So I don't even know what my mom's favorite flower is. What a bad son I am. Okay, so I think that's good. These are these things, right? So those look pretty good. Cool. The vena cava are done now. Nah. We're just gonna pull it all the way through like that. Okay, so now we got those guys going. Next up, what are we making? Can I crochet something to do with Kirby or Nintendo? Definitely. I actually have a, I actually have a really old Kirby pattern that is so good. I'm really, really proud of it. So, I think it'd be fun to put to make that one. Um, in fact, since I got this pink background, maybe I'll do like a really quick last second pattern. Later, later this weekend. Uh, okay, so now we're making the mini valves, which are going to be the ones that go across the, the aortic arch. And one of these go on the pulmonary arch right here. So one, two, three, four, and five. Becky is starting an army of Triceratops. Hey, Becky, have you tried the game yet that I designed for them? I have a game that uh, we call Lava Run that is currently being tested out. Uh, I wanted to release it sometime this year, but I need to do a little bit more testing first because I added like a whole single player aspect to it and stuff. But the idea is it's a game that you crochet dinosaurs for and then you play a game with them. If you want to learn more about that, I think that the website is just, uh, I think it's Lava, uh, clubcrochet.com slash lava run if you email me uh, at louis at clubcrochet.com i can send you the rules and and stuff uh but i'm looking for feedback on it so i'd really really love your feedback uh eventually i think i'm gonna do a kickstarter or something for the game what do you think do you think i should do that I, i've been thinking about doing a kickstarter for it so like I, I'm thinking of doing versions of it where you can either buy it and color the pieces in yourself. Like, they'll be like little pop-out cardboard pieces. Or I'll make it so that they are, um, or you can crochet your own set. So it'll be like either one. To give people a way to play this game that if they're not crocheters. Because I don't want it to be like, you know, gatekeeping for crocheters. One, two, three, four, five. I think that's good. Go ahead and slip stitch one and call that a mini valve. All right, so that's going to be a mini valve. It looks a little weird at the very end there, but you know what? Hearts are weird. You know, love is weird. Oh, I'm supposed to actually single crochet in that stitch. That might actually fix the weirdness. A little bit. Let's see crochet there and then slip stitch here that should work all 
<laughs> Akir Akari's got an addiction to making s snails. I love that. What a fun addiction to have. Ooh, snails would be really fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. No, I can't. I can't. I was going to tell you something, but I, I'm not supposed to tell you this stuff yet. Secret secrets are no fun. Secret secrets hurt someone. No, that's not true. This is going to be a fun secret, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Jules is like... Jules always says, Lou, you have got a problem with secrets. And she's right. I do have a really big problem with secrets. I just... When I have a secret that is that I want to tell someone, usually it's like gifts. If I have like a secret about a gift that I have for someone or a future thing that I want to work on for Club Crochet, I, I just spill the beans so early because I'm just so excited about them, you know? My whole family, we all got issues with sp spilling secrets about gifts. We're very bad gift keeping secret errors. Whatever. You know what I mean? One, two. But at the same time, we're also really good at giving gifts. All of us are pretty good at giving gifts. Snail army. Yeah, I will work on a crochet pattern for a snail for you. Because um, a little miniature snail. Oh my god, that'd be so cute. I know exactly how I'd make it too. So it would be a cute idea. I like it. You know, I was thinking, I was actually talking to Jules yesterday about... Um, how I'm shocked I've never done a crochet like crochet pattern for for insect Isn't that crazy doesn't that seem like something a uh, duh why haven't I done not done that but it's true I haven't okay so we got one two three four this pattern's a little tricky I got, I'm not gonna lie because these are just so tiny you know I think I could actually do these valves easier let, let me try something after this one here I have an idea for how to make these a little bit easier to make and maybe look a little bit cleaner too because these are just a little bit messy so let's let's give something a shot here worth a try and if we like it we'll just update the pattern later since I'm gonna update it anyhow This is the, another one of these mini valves, but it just looks so funky. So actually, you know, it doesn't look that funky when I make the hole a little bit better. Let's go ahead and give this a shot. I think if I do a smaller bit of chains, like maybe if I just chain five, slip stitch in the first, or even less, let's see. One, two, three, four. Now let's do five. Slip stitch into this one. And then instead of single crocheting into each of these chains, I'm going to single crochet into the loop itself. And let's see how that looks. One, two, three, four. Because I think that'll make this hole a little bit cleaner. See, it makes that hole a little bit more obvious. And it's just way easier to do. Like, look at that. I finished that in no time no time flat and let's see how it looks i think that actually looks better so we're going to convert the mini valve to be like this instead so that it's a little bit crisper a little bit cleaner and way easier to do so we got to redo those other two ones too we got one of those you know, that's what experience gets you. We actually, we could use these ones. Let's use these ones for the um, the ultra mini valves. These ones that go next to this because they're about the same size and that way we don't have to remake them anyhow. And I need to put these, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? This, I'm gonna let it go through that. There we go, now I don't have to worry about my yarn losing my yarn again okay write a big cute cute fluffy spider i might even be able to make a spider that even jules thinks is cute that's gonna be a hard one to do though jules has a phobia of spiders she really hates spiders 
One, two, three, four, five. It's been five years of holding secrets. It's no fun, so I'm just gonna tell y'all, because the person that doesn't like me anymore tried to throw a pencil at my eye today. <gasps> and he went into the girl's bathroom. Well, you know, maybe he just really had to go. Gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> maybe the boy's bathroom was was too full. I don't know. I don't know. Acrocanthros says this is really cute. Oh my gosh. Thank you. I think it will be cute also. But yeah, I'm really excited about the new Pikmin game. Look at that. That looks way better and was so much quicker to make. We're totally going to be updating this pattern after this. Which means we'll probably have to update the video tutorial too eventually. Oh no. That's okay. That's okay. Things need to be updated. It's been a while. Okay, so we want to we need to make four of these mini valves. So we've got two more to make. And then we can work on the pulmonary arch. Ooh, I like that one, Becky. With the pink poop emoji and everything. <laughs> Becky said, secret secrets are no fun unless you are a part of one. I like that. I like that version. There we are. There we are. Yes, of course. What did you guys think about the YouTube short that I made for this heart um, yesterday? I was like, oh, this is cute. I like this. Five. Uh, it was pretty fun to make. Pretty easy. And I thought, you know what? I should do more effort into these YouTube shorts because there's so many, like, it's like the new thing, you know? And I don't really like using TikTok. So putting some effort into these mini videos for TikTok was really difficult for me because Every time I go into TikTok, I just come out of it feeling less happy. But I do like YouTube Shorts. I use them. I like look at YouTube Shorts pretty often. So I'm, it's kind of funny because they're pretty much the exact same thing, right? But it does feel like you get different content. TikToks kind of seem like, I don't know. It seems like you get like, they're built to be really quick. You know, it's like you watch a video and it's like a 10 second video. Whereas YouTube shorts feel like they're supposed to be like a minute and you learn something in them. They, they just feel way different. Maybe it's just how the algorithm is sending me videos is different than most people, but I am getting, I am enjoying the YouTube algorithm for shorts a little bit more. I know that's like a really weird, very, very modern weird thing to say. I'm really, I'm really proud of the algorithm. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll just go ahead and single crochet in that one and slip stitch one. We've got a nosy Jimbo. I hear him. He's like, what are you guys doing there? Can I come hang out maybe? No. No. I had to do a really weird setup this time. So it's really hard to get out of this, like out of the corner where this live, the, the, my light box and stuff is. So we're not going anywhere, which means Jimbo can't come in here. Man, my plan totally didn't work. Um, okay, so we've got all of the mini valves done. Go ahead and check them off on the pattern. Next, we need to do the pulmonary arch, which is gonna be this one, this right here. 
we're gonna be making this thing. Okay, so we're gonna need this yarn. And this is actually not too crazy. It's just like, we just need to crochet a bunch. And I think, I actually think I'm gonna do this one backwards as well because I want the tip of this to be like kind of the same as that was. So I'm gonna do it a little bit different than is actually in the pattern because I'm a rebel without a cause. One, two, three, four, five, six. Slip stitch there. And then we're gonna do seven single crochets around the ring, which is I think gonna be a little bit cleaner of a look basically going to be crocheting this backwards one two three four five six and seven there we go okay so we got 11 rounds now where I just need to single crochet around over and over to make a really long tube you know what I think it's gonna look pretty good I like it'll look pretty good. Your grandson finished his first week of homework and he wants a cobalt as his first piece. Ooh. Ooh. Fun. Oh, cool. Crochet cousins. Well, I hope you like the crocheted octopus pattern. Let me know if you got any questions and stuff like that. If you got any questions. Anybody out there been watching The Last of Us show? I have been watching a lot of that. That was one of my favorite games a long time ago when I was in college. I really, really liked that game a lot. Um, but it is a scary game. And I'll tell you what, the TV show does not shy away from the fear. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever watched a TV show before and been so scared consistently in the show. Like every time we watch an episode, I'm like, I have to stand up or walk around. I'm just too scared. I'm talking, over, don't go in there, you know? But, oh my gosh, that show is so good. Highly recommended if you're looking for a new show check out the last of us show if you're looking for a new show and you don't worry and you're not too stressed about being too scared check out the show the last of us it is a spooky one but omg it is so good honestly at least so far is it's been the best adaptation from a video game that i've watched like we're gonna see how how it goes in the future but it looks really good it looks really good and it, and it is very close to the source material, you know? I actually think I might know a way to do the valve that's gonna be on this a little bit easier if we want to try something crazy. Basically doing what I do on for the octopi. dare I mean we already have all the valves made we might as well just sew it on not have to stress about adding something brand new so Jules busted her foot up yesterday she cut her toe really really bad and her toenail got like cut in half so poor girl is just sitting she's playing Pokemon I got her the new Pokemon game it was her birthday on Sunday Happy birthday, Jules. And so I got her the new Pokemon game, uh, Pokemon Violet, and she has been addicted to it. Understandably so, too. It looks really good. But now her toe's all hurted, and it's going to take a while to heal. At first, I thought she had just stubbed her toe, but no, she cut it up pretty bad. Nasty one. See what else has happened this week. Jimbo has been sufficiently annoying, but I love him. So what are you gonna do? 
Uh, if you don't know, Jimbo is my cat. Um, we have two cats. We got Jimbo and Phoebe. Phoebe is a little sweetheart that never did nothing wrong in her whole life. Jimbo is a little brat that does wrong things all the time, but you love him even more for it. <laughs> he really is so cute, though. He's super duper fuzzy. Yes, I'm talking about you. <laughs> Can you hear him meowing? Probably not. for it though look at that you can see through it hello hi out there okay how many rounds we got one two three four five six seven we need to go to eleven and if I did it one two three four We'd want to do the heart, the valve like up here if we wanted to do that secondary valve thing, but I mean, I guess we could try it. Could be one, two, three, and then shingle. You know what? Let's do it. Let's live life on the edge. Live, laugh, love. Okay, this is how I'm gonna do this. I'll zoom it in. So if you want to make your heart valve on this, um pulmonary arch a little bit easier i'm essentially going to do what i do for the octopus's nose uh here which is going to be to slip stitch i'm going to be slip stitching into a circle and then single crocheting into that circle i think that's how i do it so i i slip stitch around into a circle so we'll do a slip stitch into this next stitch here and then into the next stitch up over here one two and then we'll do one over to the left right here. This part can be kind of hard because the yarn is like in the piece. Put it down and then grab a, I want these to be separate. Grab this end. There we go. That. There's one, two, three. And then we'll go one over here. This actually might be a little bit bigger than the valve is supposed to be, but it is gonna save us a little bit of time of sewing something onto it, so. And it's fun to try something new. One over here. And then finally, this one here. Okay, so that's, see how I made like a slip stitches of circles around? Now what I'm gonna do is I think I can just go into this stitch here, slip stitch one, like that, then chain one. Actually, you know what, I don't need to chain one. I, then I work backwards into these single crochet, or into the slip stitches that we made in the last round right here. And we're gonna single crochet around each one of these. Starting with that one. If we can turn off autofocus real quick. There we go. And we'll single crochet around it, building the heart valve with the same yarn we're using. That's one. Here would be two. I mean, I don't even know if this is necessarily easier, but it is like quicker. It is gonna be way quicker. Yeah. And it's fun to experiment. One, two, three. Four was gonna be right there. One right here. these together now I'm gonna work a, into this weird loop just to fix it but you don't really need to do that it's 
slip stitch into that first one and then we'll chain one and then continue on in the stitches around like that and that'll make a little tiny arch like that see so we made like kind of a little tube coming out this way and then we'll just keep working around like this now and hopefully it won't be too noticeable this little connection but we'll see we will see let's turn it back to autofocus so we don't goof it up there we go okay let's just keep crocheting keep on crocheting on Bye Onyx, thanks for joining. And then when I get around to here, let's see how this looks. Innovation. That is what this is, it is innovation. There we go. Now we got a little arch, a little circle. It might look a little bit weird on our piece, but you know what? You know, that's actually, that's not bad. Just pull it in a little bit, but yeah, that's fine. Cool. Take your meds, Clayton. You gotta always, you gotta take your meds, Clayton. This is very confusing on what to sew to what. I agree with you there. Um, let me help you out, Amaze Feed. So all of the, so let me, actually, let me just show you here. This thing right here is what we're currently making. It's called the pulmonary arch. The pulmonary arch has one of the mini valves sewn to the middle of it. That's what we just made. Instead of sewing it on, I, I try to do like a weird fancy trick. Uh, and I think it kind of works. So that's the first thing. You want one mini valve on a pulmonary arch. The other three mini valves are going to go on this big thing called the aortic arch, which we're going to make uh, after the pulmonary arch here. And then we've got the vena cava, which are these things that go on the back. Basically, throw the vena cava to the side. That's the first thing that you're going to make. Throw those off to the side. These are these ones right here. We'll use those way, way later. Um, that'll be like the last thing that we sew on. Then the last thing, so I, I basically, I would say just focus on the pulmonary arch and the, um, aortic arch first, and then move on to these other, these, these things. So just ignore these ones, just do the mini valves and the aortic arch and the pulmonary arch first, and then we'll deal with these ones afterwards. That's my suggestion, I think. And when I redo this pattern, I think I'll put that, um, you know, I'll put, I'll put a little effort into the redesign so that it's very clear what to do when. Hey, Jasmine, how are you? I hope you're doing great, Jasmine. I still got your little, cro I was actually looking at your crocheted cow just the other day. ACM, right back at you. All right. So we want this to have 11, 12, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11. Okay, so this is actually probably gonna be our last round. Um, I might do one extra because of how I started this, since I made this a little bit different. Jasmine, how's your boyfriend doing too? I hope he's doing well. I think that 
valve thing totally works. I mean, it's a little short, but I think it'll work. Samantha, what are we working on right now? We're working on a heart, a human heart, anatomical human heart. We're gonna stop right, up, right after this round. And we're not even an hour in, and we've already got a lot of this done, actually. So that's pretty cool. I do like that. I like that. It's right here. We're going to do one more slip stitch right there. And we even got the tail end from the beginning to use for sewing on. That's kind of cool too. All right, so that should be good. That'll make our little aortic arch T thingy, or I mean pulmonary arch T thingy. So you see like this thing is one of these. I'm supposed to use one of these and sew it on like that, uh, but I didn't do that. So we're, we're trying something different. Now we got an extra valve. Okay. So that's our start. That's pretty good. We'll put these with that over there. Now we want to make the aortic arch. Ooh, cracking, cracking my neck because I'm a bad boy. <laughs> what are we having for dinner tonight? Jules is making enchiladas tonight, which will be pretty fun. We actually have a piece of chicken that I don't think she knows about too, so it'd be nice to do shred a shredded chicken enchilada also. She wanted to do them yesterday, but she didn't, so that's okay. All right, so this time we do have to make this one uh, like we did the last one, so or like we did the valves. So we gotta do, I can't do a sneaky tricky way to make this yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's do eight. Um, and let's do one more actually. Like that. Uh, we'll connect with a slip stitch to the first chain. Like this. I'm actually gonna chain one, two. And then we're gonna single crochet into all the chains around. I'm gonna work into the back loops just to keep it straight. Give us something easy to sew it onto our body with later. Main chunk of the heart. No, it's all good. You. Please, yeah, ask ask away, Samantha. Samantha says, "Are I am I tired tonight, man? I'm always tired. I don't know what happened. I think I think I have a feeling that the rest of my life I'm just gonna be tired. I've had a coffee though, and now I've got a tea. Um, I am a two coffee kind of a two coffee a day kind of dude recently." I'm trying to avoid, but I honestly can't. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So we need two more. Yeah. Oops. Gosh, this one does not want to work. There we go. Now we got stuff for sewing it together and aortic arch has begun. Okay. Where am I from? I am from you can try to drop your channel link, but I don't think it'll work. I am from 
Uh, California. I, we currently live near LA, uh, but I used to live in San Francisco. And I moved in August. Okay, so you push it two together. Like that. And then you push it two. One. Two. And then an increase back here. So when we're making this aortic arch, we're going to be using decreases and increases uh, in every other round to make the arch actually arc. Yes, Carrie, I think I did. Let me look. I'm pretty sure I shipped it out on Monday. What was your order for? I'm pretty sure I shipped it out though already. Actually, I'm, I'm like 90% sure I shipped it out already. Okay, one. Single crochets into each. Oh, Baba Green Sheep. Cali, a Cali kid like me. Dude, that's dope, dude. Love California. <laughs> nice. Shocker, bro. Yeah, I did. Um, okay. I've actually got this weekend pretty open, so I might try. Oh, dude, Christina! I don't know if there's, I don't know if Christina's in the chat right now, but we got someone named Christina that ordered a bottle of eyes in the beginning of this live stream. Thank you, Christina. I super duper appreciate you. Um, okay, so that's eight. Okay, so now I'm gonna have to keep track of my progress by doing check marks. Um, repeat rounds two to three, three more times. Okay. Um, Akira asks, help, the pumpkin looks weird. Give me tips, please. Have you checked out our pumpkin crochet pattern? We actually have one. Uh, I think it's just clubcrochet.com slash pumpkin. That would probably help a lot. I don't know how it looks weird. I don't know how the pumpkin that you made was made. So it's hard for me to give you feedback or tips uh, with that, with not enough information. But if you got more info, let me know. And I'll see what I can do to help. Christina, oh, you are here. Thank you so much for your purchase. I really appreciate it. That's actually, I think, like, I think I've only got like four of them left. I ordered more, so we should have more bottles of OIs soonish. But regardless, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. There's one repeat done. I need to do three of those. It's like ah, uh, like it's it's making the arch automatically. Ooh, a maze feed! You're way further than me. A maze feed is already on the body. Oh, I gotta hurry up! I gotta hurry up! I gotta catch up! I gotta beat you. You got past the hard stuff. Yeah, you did. Okay, so that's the second repeat of that. We need one more repeat. Did I order? Two bottles, one of each size. Yes, you did? I'm pretty sure you did, yeah. With a sticker, maybe? Or maybe I just put a, no, no, you ordered, 
Yeah, and then you ordered a little bit extra of eyes, and then I put in a sticker, a couple stickers for you. Just say thanks. Pretty much every time someone orders those bottle of eyes, I always add in an, a sticker or two to say thank you for your purchase. So if you want to get a free sticker, that's a good way to do it. All right, Baba Green Sheep. Pasta La Pizza, thanks for joining. and then we do that decrease yeah i think i want to do a uh i think i want to do a video game i want to try doing a video game live stream soon i know i know what a lot of people are thinking you've been saying that a bunch and i know i have but i really want to i really want to try it i'm just scaled do i get tired i mean of course i get tired i'm a human being not a human being, but I am a human being. <laughs> Ooh. Clayton, that's a super interesting question. I would say, I do think there's a way to do that. I think maybe your way to figure out how to purchase that house is to... Um, I think there's a way you can look up like who owns it on online maybe like look up the address online you might be able to find out who owns it um and then talk to them that's probably your best bet if they didn't have if it didn't go to anybody then you probably have to like deal with a bank or something What am I crocheting? Crochet boy, we are crocheting a human anatomical heart. Didn't you see the thumbnail? Golly. <laughs> Did you overstuff the pumpkin? I mean, you might have overstuffed the pumpkin, Akari. You do need to not stuff it very much. Like, because you need to pull in those ends to make all the little segments of the pumpkin... Uh, it means that you have to try to not stuff it too much so that the stuffing goes into those different sections a little easier. So that might have been a problem, but really it's probably not that big of an issue. If you just do the sides like this and you just like, you don't like pull it tight, you just like have them on each of the sides of the pumpkin, it might look uh, pretty good. Um, okay, so I think that's our three repeats. Let's count real quick. We did one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shouldn't it go to ten? Okay. okay, then the repeats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I did it twice. Oopsies, I messed up. I messed up. Okay, let's go back right here i think actually right here so let me go back to okay let's look at this again there's one repeat two repeats okay so this repeat okay i see what i did this is just supposed to be around a single crochet i did an extra decreasing round for some reason Oh, the water, sticker on the water bottle. I totally know that. Look at this. My water bottle is covered in stickers. What? Loads of stickies. For the same reason. Look, there's the crocheting ogre. We got that professional hooker sticker. The church of perch, of course. It's kind of hard to see. You even have a stitch sticker. Okay, now we got our repeats done. Okay, so now I need to do four rounds of single crochets. one 
Oh, crochet boy. Yeah, you totally should start your own business. So you're gonna start, I'm gonna guess, you're gonna start your business of selling your crocheted objects on like Etsy. Cause that's uh, not a bad idea. You totally could do that. Um, you actually can use club crochet patterns uh, and um, sell the finished projects on Etsy if you want. I, I give permission to do that. All you need to do is add in the description pattern from clubcrochet.com. Um, and as long as you do that, I am A-OK -okay with you using our patterns. There's a lot of crochet triceratops actually on Etsy because of that. Hi, Judy, how are you doing? Oh, when will the next live stream be? The next live stream is going to be uh, next Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're gonna be making, I think we're gonna be making tulips, unless my mom changes her mind. Uh, we're gonna be designing a tulip. So I believe that's gonna be the plan. We might end up making a treasure chest, but I think tulips would be pretty fun. Zoe, you're wearing your Church of Perch shirt now? That's dope. <laughs> That's so cool. That's super cool. Yeah, Clayton, I mean, I don't think that's like a terrible idea, Clayton. Uh, yeah. If it is owned by the bank, it might like go for foreclosure, which means that it'll probably be like kind of cheaper. I don't really know. I don't really know how houses work. Do you live in them or? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I do know how they work. I just don't understand how buying houses work. Crochet Boy says they have a YouTube channel, but they're scared to show their face. I totally get that. I It took me a long time to show my face on camera. Um, and even when I did, I still am not completely comfortable with my face being in camera. Uh, it's, it's hard to get over. Um, it took me a long time to get used to my voice. And then my face after that. Uh... But yeah, I think that's kind of normal. Um, Samantha, do we live stream every Thursday? Yes, we do. Every Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I've got all the live streams for, um, oh, whoops. Just do an increase in the stitch because we are on to round 14 now. Um, all the live streams for the rest of the month are planned. Uh, after we do next week, week's live stream of doing a tulip, I'm gonna do a giant either, it, now I'm gonna let you guys choose this later, but I'm either gonna do a giant Chubzilla, which is an old pattern of like a giant, like it's like a dinosaur, or we're gonna do a giant um, dragon. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the the uh, audience choose which one we should make. Three. Let me see. We'll crochet two together. Which also should probably be changed to an invisible decrease, realistically. But that will be for another time. Let's see. We'll crochet. Seven and eight. Finally, on to the heart body. Cooper is making an anatomical heart too. I'm gonna guess this is going to be a Valentine's gift for normal gecko. Is that true? That's Cooper's partner, and uh, they're adorable. Okay, now on to, I'm on round 16. Man, you are, everybody's flying in this pattern right now in the chat. You're all going way quicker than I am. That's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. And 
then three, two, three. And I'm just gonna put shade two together. Oh, there's just supposed to be one. Okay, that's okay. Now we're gonna do round to single crochets. We're almost done with the arch. Akira is just started. Well, you were making something else. Crochet boy thinks we should do a dragon. I mean, I don't think that's a bad idea. I got a bunch of purple yarn uh, for the for the giant dragon or um, Chubzilla, so we'll see. But I think purple would be really fun. Look at that arch, beautiful. Okay, last round of. Last couple rounds for the arch. One, two, I'm gonna increase. And then we'll sew on the mini valves. Round a single crochets and we'll pretty much be done. the arch pretty good we got both these ends for sewing onto the body and then we need to add our three valves three of these guys onto the top one two three I'm gonna start with the middle one and then work out from there we're gonna work out today no not really I think right like here is going to be the center. Right into that. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so we're going to go one, two. Ooh, a stingray. Stingray would be way cool. We're going to be doing ocean themed patterns this summer, actually. So that would be pretty cool. Can I help you figure out how to go live on YouTube for the first time? I, I, uh, I don't know. Do you? Okay. So what? I mean, honestly, my best suggestion for doing that. One, two, three. Okay, cool. My best suggestion for going live on YouTube for the first time is just do it. You probably won't get a whole bunch of viewers unless you have a lot of subscribers, which is totally okay, I think, because you want to learn what you're doing first. Um, so it's best just to do it, realize no one's going to watch, and be okay with that, and just be excited if someone does join. And then, uh, yeah, just go with the flow and see how it goes. Um, there's a lot of... There's a lot of like trial and error, I think. At least there was for me. And I don't know how much 
yeah i don't know it a lot of trial and error not only like technological trial and error because obviously like yesterday i mean last week when we did this live stream like it broke so there's a lot of trial and error as far as that goes but there's also a, a lot of trial and error as far as like camera presence and being comfortable with talking on camera and being able to crochet or do whatever you're trying to do while you're talking to a chat that is way easier said than done in my opinion um, i've gotten really good at it because i've done hundreds of these so you know i i just i i think i've gotten pretty good at it but uh, i have talked to other you or crochet um pattern writers like sir pearl gray and stuff and they say it is so difficult for them to do a live stream because trying to talk about something while they're designing something is very difficult so it's practice makes perfect kind of thing um as far as like technologically how to get started with live streaming just go like youtube it like like look up tutorials on youtube there's a whole bunch of them and uh that will be the most helpful i use a program called um I used, when I started, I used a program called OBS, which is a, um, a live streaming program. Uh, now I use a program called uh, Streamlabs, which is basically the same exact thing, but I spend money on it because I'm an idiot and I don't really need to, but I've kind of already set it all up and changing it now, it just feels like too much work. I thought there would be like a lot of extra things I could do to my for the live streams if I did it like that but honestly there wasn't that much I could do different so there's another suggestion for you don't don't bother with getting Streamlabs. just figure out how to use OBS it's a free program and that's what I use to live stream I think you can also live stream directly through your app like the YouTube app um, but setting up like multiple cameras so that you can show your face and what you're making uh, I don't think you can do that through the YouTube app. You're going to need a secondary program like OBS or something to do that. But yeah, those are my tips. Uh, let me know if you got any other questions about that, I guess. Let's see, we got one, two. So we want to go, actually, let's go pretty far over, like, over to here. And we do have a dragon in our shop. We have a dragon crochet pattern in the uh, YouTube shop now, or in the, in the store now. I only have a few more kits actually. Um, I made like 30 or 40 of them, so that's all we have. So if you want to get a crochet kit for a dragon, we've got red ones and green ones available, and it's the exact yarn that I use in the videos. So it's really cool. I think it's a great kit, um, and I suggest you get it. Obviously, it comes with the pattern and everything too, so that's kind of neat. And if you have a membership level account, you actually get like a $5 discount on the kit. So. Uh, and here's a here's a pro tip if you want to you can create a free trial for club crochet for my website and then use that free trial like with your account in that free trial go to the shop and purchase a the kit and you'll get that five dollars off uh, and then if you really want to you can cancel your free trial I don't suggest it because I think that the membership on our site is really really cool but you totally can do that pro tip pro tip Oh, Milo, you subscribed yesterday. Quite new to crochet. Well, welcome to the world of crochet. There's a lot going on here. I think we'll do like right here. And we are happy to have you, Milo. Welcome to the dark side. Oh, Carrie's new also. Well, welcome, Carrie. got a weird hangnail here that is no fun see cool Oh, Sarah's wrist injury can't let her crochet. Well, yeah, I hope you feel better soon. I'm sorry. 
Yeah, Jules has had this arm uh, arm problem recently. Her, uh, she basically got like a what's it called? I don't know arthritis, but like carpal tunnel basically in her arm. So she hasn't been able to knit for like two months. It's crazy. I've never seen her not knitting for this long. I'm sure it's driving her nuts. It would drive me nuts if I couldn't crochet. Like, really, it would drive me crazy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. Five, six, seven, eight. Try to keep your thumb straight. Here, here, one, two, there we go. Your partner used to talk about renovating a house before we split, but it's still something to think about. You know, I feel the same way. Jules and I really would love to get a house and I really want to do uh, one that I can renovate a little bit more. So, you know, starter home. We're looking at we're looking at different places near us, um, but obviously it's very 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 difficult right now to get a house. Uh, you have to have a lot of money, especially if you're in California. Turns out California is super expensive. Who would have thought? <laughs> All right, there's an aortic arch. Let's go ahead and double knot these, and we'll sew it together. Okay, so we got our aortic arch done. We've got our pulmonary arch done. We've got all those little pieces done. We don't need to do the pulmonary veins because we're gonna use the extra veins that I made for the aortic arch uh, as the pulmonary veins to save us some time. But that looks pretty good, I think. Let's go ahead and try to fix up the, the holes here a little bit more. Do I have something a little sharper than this? Ooh. Let's see. I guess not. We'll just have to use the crochet hook then. Oh, you know what? I got a fat crochet hook over here. Oh, actually, we got a fat crochet hook right here. Here's this. So I'm just trying to like fix up the holes to make them a little bit more holy so that, that we can pray over these heart. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. All right, put that to the side. Now we're skipping the pulmonary veins. We're going straight to the main body. Oh, let's get cooking cooking and hooking and booking. Yeah, okay, so I, th oh, Milo, we do ship to the UK, actually. Um, oh, Judy, this is your first live video. Well, welcome, I hope you enjoy it. They are very casual, very chill. Um, usually, sometimes we do ones where we design stuff and I get a lot of uh, your opinions and, and suggestions, but this is a little bit more of a simplified um, live stream where we're just actually crocheting a pattern from the library. Uh, and that way you can ask for any help if you need it while we're going. I kind of like try to do a little bit of different stuff all the time. Keep you on your toes but they're really just fun times for us just to sit and crochet together. Okay, so we're on the body of our heart. Now is my chance to catch up to you folks that are going a little faster than me. We're actually doing pretty well though. I, I like timing wise, it's only been, really it's only been like an hour of crocheting. so. We've already got quite a lot of it made in just that hour. Yeah, so I used to have carpal tunnel pretty bad when I, when I crocheted in high school because I would make 
What, what I found gave me carpal tunnel was crocheting the same thing over and over again. So I used to make beanies and I would sell them online and I would make, or, or to friends and stuff. So I would make like four, five beanies a day at least. Um, sometimes I would make like 10 beanies a day. It was crazy. I made so many. So doing that repetitive motion of the exact same, just doing single crochet, single crochet, single crochet over and over. Um, Milo, we do ship to the UK actually. Um, yeah, we, we, we ship everywhere. Uh, but doing the same repetitive motion over and over is what gave me carpal tunnel. So what I had to do was I bought these like wrist gloves. They were essentially like really tight gloves that like compressed your arm like that. And it made it so you couldn't really bend your hand really much more than like this much. And that helped so much for my carpal tunnel. Uh, and then obviously I had to cut down on my crocheting, but I didn't have to cut down too bad. Um, I still made like a few beanies a day. I probably should have cut back even more, but I was young, so I wasn't really too worried about it. And now I just try not to overdo it. You know, I try not to make the same thing over and over again. Um, I also, if I start to feel some wrist pain here, that usually means that I'm crocheting too tightly now. Uh, so I try to loosen up my stitches if I start feeling that pain. Uh, and I tried to crochet without bending my, my elbow, my wrist as much. So what I'll do instead is I'll kind of like use my arm and like pull like this and like, instead of like changing where my wrist is, changing where this is instead. So yeah, I just, I think that's a, a pretty good way to shift how you crochet to work um, if you're having pain. But really what you wanna do is just take it easy for a little bit. Um, you don't want it to get too bad because if it gets really bad, you could make it bad enough where it's gonna take years for you to get back to crocheting. So don't overdo it, just be careful. And uh, yeah. But yeah, see how I'm like not like, look, I won't move my, I'm going to try not to move this wrist at all as I crochet the next few stitches. So I'm kind of just using this hand to do it now and just keeping this hand with the crochet hook as I go. So adjusting accordingly to work with your pain. But yeah, I hope that helps. Hey, again, uh, here's your chance. Please like this video down below if you haven't already. It's a great way to help this channel spread a little bit and get uh, the word out there about these live crochet longs. Uh, and if we get enough likes, we're trying to get to, um, we're trying to get to 250. If we get 250 likes, we'll do a giveaway uh, to, uh, next week. We are at 160. Yeah, we're at 160 likes, so that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We only need we only need 90 more, so that's actually not that bad. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven. You know, I don't know. I've never shipped anything to Egypt before, but I'm pretty sure I'd be able to. Um, if you're if you're really worried about it, Judy, um, feel free to uh, email me after this, and I'll look into it to make sure that I can ship to Egypt. But I'm pretty sure I can. Worst case scenario, I can always cancel your order and give you a refund if you do end up purchasing it and I can't get it to Egypt. I'll make sure to get you a refund, but pretty sure I can. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. Right, so I'm on round six, I should be. Yep. Cool.
five, six. Okay. All right, one more round of increasing. And we're gonna have to add, add a face. Okay, so let's, I actually got an idea. Let's finish this round. And I'm gonna ask the chat what kind of face we want to make. Oh, no, 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 that's right. There's another round of increasing. I remember, I remember things. Okay, so, cool. All right, so we just finished up round seven of the body. All right, I wanna ask you what kind of face to make. So let me look up some, let's see, so. Um, okay. I wanna do, we can do, So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go boom, start a poll. What kind of face should we add? All right, I wanna do, try one that's maybe like a wing. Silly, serious, no face. There we go. Okay, let me know which face you think I should make. I just put a poll up. I'm gonna do my four rounds of just single crochets now, and then we'll choose which one based on your guys' choice that we wanna make for the face, and then I'll make that. I think I am gonna vote for that one. Man, Zoe. Yeah. You need them you need them hands for cooking. Zoe, I gotta come visit you in in Canada. You can make me some food and I'll crochet you something. <laughs> Where have I gone in Canada? I think I've gone to um, the one that starts with a V. V, V, and then And then I think I've been to Quebec. No, have I been to Quebec? I've been to Arden American. My, my fiance is family has a house out there so every now and then we go out there like her her like extended family what's the one that starts with a v i think in canada but v v v v oh man i can't think of it what is the name of that city v v you know, it's, it's north of uh, 
north of like Seattle and stuff. Vancouver, thank you. Jeez Louise, I had like a like a mental block, dude. It was like like I could feel I could feel like a oh man, that was annoying. Thank you. I was having a real bad stonk there. Bad stonk. <laughs> Cooper. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're in Ottawa. Very cool. Toronto. I really want to check out Toronto. Honestly, I want to check out all of Canada. But now you guys won't let me buy a house there. What the heck? No, just kidding. I'm, I'm not looking to. But I did hear in the news recently that um, they made it so in Canada you can't buy a house if you don't live in Canada. Which I think is actually pretty fair. That's pretty fair. But it is a bummer because it's like, man, Canada, you are my backup. <laughs> if things go really south, I was going to come to you. Yeah, I want to check out, I do want to check out Ottawa. And I definitely want to check out Toronto. Yeah, you can't even buy a house. Wait, can you, are you not allowed to buy a house there because, are you not allowed to buy a house or is it because it's too expensive? Because I know it's like crazy expensive. It's too expensive to buy a house anywhere now though. It's crazy. It's crazy. We got a problem, you guys. We got an issue. You get citizenship, you can. Yeah, yeah. Saskatchewan, Corvidsaurus, lives in Saskatchewan. That, what a fun name that is. Yeah, I've actually been to Vancouver like three or four times. It's a good, it's a good place. I've got a shocking amount of friends in, in Canada too. I mean, we got Cooper, obviously. We got Zoe. Of course. But also, uh, Philip from Sir Pearl Grey, he, he's a Canada boy too. A lot of you Canada, Canada folks out there. I Maybe it's like you have a higher chance of crocheting if you live in a place that starts with a C. You know, I'm in California, the Cali Crocheters. That should be a group here. Mari, hello. Uh, Judy, how long have I been crocheting for? I have been crocheting since sophomore year of high school. So that would be almost 15 years, a little bit more than 15 years now, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that might've been my last stitch. Sure was. Cool. All right, so there is my round of single crochets. Now we're gonna start invisibly decreasing. One, two. Six, seven, and then a decrease. All right. Six, seven, and another decrease. All right. Body is flying. We're flying through this body. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. Clayton, you want to move to Iceland, but but you're afraid to make friends. Yeah, I get that, dude. Making friends is hard, and it only gets harder and harder with age, I find. I think that the next chance I'll have to for an easy time at making friends is when I have a kid, because then 
my kids will be forced to hang out with other kids and therefore I'll be forced to hang out with parents, other parents, and maybe uh, that's the way I'll make friends. I don't know. How do you make friends? It's hard. Uh, let's put this in here because we don't need that. Okay, we're almost at the spot where we want to make our face. So vote for the face now. There's only been 27 votes, which is shocking. What kind of face do you want me to make? Oh, 28. There you go. Someone just voted. You know who you are. Okay. That's the end of that round. It looks pretty small, but you know what? It's going to get bigger when we put a um, some love into it. <laughs> when we stuff it a bit. Okay, so now we want to add our face. And we're going to be making a... Of course, we're going to be making a silly face. That's what I voted for, too. Whoop! All right. Silly face. So, I'm thinking for silly face, we do eye, one eye, a winky face, and a tongue. That's silly. That's cute. It's simple. I know how to do it. I'm under attack. Dude, Judy, you're in the best part of crocheting. I think the... I mean, actually, I don't know. I've been excited about crocheting ever since I started. But when I first started crocheting, man, I loved it. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. I still do, but... You know, there's that motivation that you get from when you first start crocheting that is just uncomparable. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the face like down here, like right like here, do one of the eyes. And then we'll do, I think I'll start with the mouth, like after doing that eye, so I know where to put the next eye. We'll go. Go, we're gonna have to give him a tongue. But I'm thinking like this, a little tongue right there. We go one, two, three over, and then we go one down right here. Like that, like that. Okay, so that'll make our little smiley. Look at that, that was so easy. And then we'll put the tongue under it and we'll do a little winky right here. Ain't that just the cute? And we'll just do the tongue. Well, I'll actually probably just do this tongue really simply. I might just embroider the tongue on. That's a really good smile. You know, that's a that's a really good smile. That's a good smile. What a cute little smile you got, my friend. One. And double knot. So we got our smile, our perfect little smile. Wow, that's so cute. All right, let's try the tongue. We'll try crocheting one so it's like three dimensional, but I am not uh, hopeful. Well, you know what? It's it, It'll look still good. I just, I just don't know. One, two, scoop three, and then a half double crochet. Let's see how that looks. If we don't like it, we don't like it. That's okay too. A heart with a tongue? I have never heard of something so wild and crazy. Okay. Like that. Actually, that's pretty cute. This this might work. So we'll go through here, right, right here. Like this.
Yeah, once you realize, like, I think when you're a beginner and you can realize the, when you realize the potential of what you can do with crochet, I think it's really, really exciting because you're like, oh my god, I can make anything. You can, dude. You can make whatever you want. Whatever you can think about. pull this tight enough so that these knots get pull pulled in. So these knots here get pulled in. Kind of like that, right there. Get that in right there, like that. Let's look at it all the front. That's cute. That's cute. Right? That's cute. Now, does it look like he's got his tongue out? Or does it look like he's just has a weird growth on his face? Let me know. What do you think? Do we like this tongue? Or should I just embroider on a tongue? While you guys are just letting me know that, I'll go ahead and try sewing on a winky face so we can visualize it with the tongue. I think the winky face is gonna go right here. It's gonna be pretty simple. I'm just gonna go one, two, Do you like this tongue or do I put, do I just embroider it? In the meantime, I'm going to double knot this because I really like that eye actually. I think that's pretty good. Okay, two people say they like it. Clayton and Empty Duo like it. The way it be. Cooper likes it. That's three. Miriam likes it. Okay, cool. That I think that's that's a pretty good survey. I'm waiting for the one person to say, I hate it. You're terrible at this. keep it we'll keep it I'll listen and Akira Kiri says they like it too that's a lot of I like it I will listen I will listen to the maces um, and yeah there we go that is a very fast silly face that's pretty you know that's cute simple silly cute that would be my heart like let's be honest my heart would definitely be a weirdo cool we're gonna keep that then that is super cute okay next we want to stuff just a little bit. So actually we can stuff with our squeaker. We'll do a little bit of stuffing on the bottom. Look at this cute little haircut now. We'll do a little stuffing on the bottom. Like that. Cosmo, hey, how you doing? I am doing a-okay. that and then yes that's a squeaky boy okay that's a little bit of stuffing now let's sew it close more oh I kind of like that I like that Cosmo okay wait let's do that real quick I can totally do that we need um
I love that idea though. Quick little, quick little aside. We're gonna make him a little tiny crocheted heart that we're gonna stuff in there. Because I think that sounds like a really cute idea. Really quick, really easy. I just do a single crochet. If you wanna learn how to do this heart that I'm making right now, the pattern is at uh, clubcrochet.com slash heart actually. It's where the other one is too. We're gonna do it a little bit bigger. Three, chain two, slip stitch, super quick heart. Like, look at this, I'm speed running it. One, two, and let's do three, then a triple, two, three, and then a double, and a half double single pull it tight Let's go chain two I think yeah chain two pull it tight and then I'll just slip stitch this one right here like that cut it and then hide these ends look at that that is a fast heart hide this tail end in I'll do the same with this other tail end not that it really matters since it's just gonna be sewn on the inside anyhow but you know why not there we go pretty cute right and we'll stuff that in there so he's got a heart the heart has a heart oh wait we gotta hide this end too Perfect. There we go. Man, we should have just made one of these. This live stream would have been way quicker if I just made this. <laughs> what do we think? And then we'll go ahead and we'll put that right in here. It's got a heart. How lovely. <laughs> I also don't know what we could do without Cooper. Cooper is the bestest. Shout out to Cooper, our moderator extraordinaire. Always here to help. If that little miniature heart didn't deserve a like on this video, I don't know what does. <laughs> like the video or else. That's the heart that said that, not me. Okay, one, and then a decrease here. And I'll go ahead and stuff it just a little bit more while we're here. Go ahead and use just all this extra thread to stuff it since I have so much with all that thread. Make sure the center of the heart is a little bit bigger too. Make sure it still squeaks. Good. And then we'll do one more round and then I will stuff it with the last bit of stuffing. I'll do just invisible decreases to finish it. Six invisibles. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
I have one more. Boom. Body of the heart has been finished. Now we just need to stuff it, sew it closed, and then sew all of our pieces together, and then finally add our detail of our veins and stuff. But we are pretty far along, not gonna lie. This next part is gonna be super annoying though. Bless my soul. My soul has been blessed. I have been blessed by the Judy. My aunt's name is Judy, actually. My aunt's name is Judy. Just a little bit more. Squeaker's dangerous to put into a heart like this because it's just going to make an animal rip it up. Maybe not, though. Okay. I think we can do a little like see how i'm like squishing it down here and it's like holding its weird shape this also looks like a strawberry we i think i can just like stuff it down a little bit deeper and then just do a little bit extra stuffing at the top stuffing on the front of it but whatever squeaker is being weird it's like moving all around the place it's in the face it's in the back okay yeah that's pretty good if i <laughs> that's funny okay let's stuff it up or so it closed and then start the process the long process of sewing on all the pieces. Now, there's not that much to sew on, actually. We've already sewn some of them together, some of it together, so that's not gonna be too bad, but we do got some stuff to do. Two, three, four, five, six. Like that, hold it, pull it. Clayton. Hey, Clayton's cat. Hey, Clayton's kitty. Come here, kid. Come here. Come here, Clayton's cat. <laughs> All right. Let's go. And so we're going to start by sewing this right here. Because I know this one goes like right like that. And then the arch goes over it. Like that. So we're going to start with this one because that's easy enough. How many stitches? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven stitches to work with. Okay, so we'll start right here. Like that. Cool. It's a good start. Did the music stop? No, it's just quiet. All right. Six. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, not bad. One, 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Pulmonary artery sewn on. Pretty good. Looking like a heart already. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, next is this big guy, which we want to sew on like, like that, all the way across it. And we do need to stuff it when we do that. Now, I think what the best move to, thing to do here is to sew on the, it's gonna be weird. I think we should sew on this side first and then this side on top of it like that. So that they kind of because I think this side is going to be easier to sew on than this side so I'd, I'd rather get the hard part out of the way first where did I sew it on over here oh yeah it's like right next to it so it's like right there right here okay this so like that okay cool so just hold it in place and sew it on over and then let's counter stitches okay so we got how many stitches do we work with here we got one two three I think after this one though, I'm gonna stuff this arch a little bit already because, let's hold it up into place, because it's gonna be really hard to get the stuffing into this part of the arch later. So I think it's best if we do a little bit of the stuffing right now, just a little bit. You like the little trailer? Uh, I'll try to do it for all the lives. I mean, it's kind of hard to do those, but yeah, I'll give it a shot um, because I need to have it finished before I do that live, you know? So if it's going to be something that we're designing, like next week, we're going to do a tulip. 
Um, but maybe I might be able to is the answer to the question at hand. A little bit more, just a bit in the bottom right there. And the rest of the stuffing we can do on the other side. Boom, and then boom. So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Go right here. One. Um, I guess I'll do this, right? Like that. No, let's do like this thingy. This is a weird one to sew on. Cool. that goes down like this okay all right let's see this again this goes down i should probably put some stuffing in the bottom of this thing too but this goes down like that and then it'll go over all the way over to that right there that looks really good in my opinion so let's just finish sewing this on one here. In there and then out there. Like that. And into this last stitch right here. Okay, and then we'll just come out through somewhere on the side so that we can double knot it to the other side of the arch. Boom. Okay, one side of the arch done. Now this side over there. Over like I think we're gonna have to do it like kind of flat like that actually so this is this this part might be weird but we'll see how did i come up with this pattern uh i came up with this pattern this was like one of my first patterns i did cosmo and i did it in uh i actually made this in high school and i was just sitting i remember sitting on the couch one day thinking about like I was I had just gotten really into crocheting like recently like it, it had been like three months maybe four months since I started crocheting and I was like man you know what'd be cool what if I did a like an actual heart that'd be cool and then I could give it to someone as a gift like I gave them my heart and long story short the person I gave my heart to really was not nice but this is a really cool pattern, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> All right, one, and I think we're just gonna make this flat. So we're just gonna go, how many stitches do we have to work with here? We'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight will be the same as the start. So if we start here, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, and then five, we'll go six, seven, and then try that so one there over to this stitch here in to the same stitch out let's go we'll go we'll go one up because we're crazy we want to make life difficult So this one on and then we'll stuff it like this oh do you guys see that text message from my dad did you hear that that would be my pops okay let's stuff this heart side up a little bit more Oh, Clayton, thank you so much for joining. Oh, thank you for being part of the community, Clayton. I really appreciate it. You're a valued part of this community. 
and I'll see you next Thursday. Same time, same place. one more one more little bit I don't know why my brother's calling me right now he knows where I'm at Oh, you know what? Taylor's driving home from work. My brother's driving home from work, so that's probably why he called me. Okay. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five to work with. We got one, two. and make a knot. What the heck? What the heck? How do I do that? Let's fix that. I do not knot a hook. Oh, this is going to be hard. I really knotted this. Ah, da -da -da. I fixed it. I'm a pro. I'm a pro. Yeah, this pattern is kind of addicting to make in that sense. Um, a maze feed. They're they're really fun. They're like they. This pattern just looks really cool. I think. One two three four. Wait. One two three four five. One, two three. No no no. One two three four five. Four five. All right. We'll try that. One two. That. That is a heart. This one's actually a little heftier than the, the other one, too. Okay, Judy. Good night. I hope you have a great night. Wow, you really stayed up. Thank you for joining, Judy. I really appreciate it. And maybe I'll see you next Thursday. Same time, same place. Part's done. Next, we need to add. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi to Cosmos parents. <laughs> Hi, bye. Thanks for joining. Okay. Next, we need to add. Um... Okay, so we need to add these, right? We need to add them right here at the bottom and then right here at the top. These are our. R R. These are our vena cava. I don't really understand what they're for, but that's what we're going on. So let's start with the bottom one. 
do it like this so that it's kind of tilted downwards a bit. We'll go right here with it. This, this pattern is really difficult because of the sewing together. I don't like sewing things together. One, two, three, four. One, two. Wait, one, two, three, four, like that? Maybe, yeah, that looks good. One. here boom cool one right here fun part is going to be adding the veins after this but you know what we actually don't i don't want to add too many veins because of the face like normally on the on the regular heart like, look at this one. This one's like covered in veins, right? But we don't want to do that for this because we got a face. So we probably are just going to do a couple veins here, a couple veins here, maybe something from up top and a couple to the bottom. But really, I think we're going to keep the veins like relatively um, simple. Amaze Feed, thanks for joining. Brew Anu, welcome to the stream. Love that you're doing a live. I missed it, sadly. You didn't miss it yet. We're, we're, we're at like the last, I think we're in the last like maybe 30 minutes, maybe a little less. Um, but you didn't miss it totally. And uh, is this a regular thing we do? Yes, regular. Every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I do a live crochet along of some pattern or sometimes I'm designing something. Sometimes we're just doing something fun every week. So yeah. It, sh long, short answer, yes, we do this very regularly, every week. Um, Chinese is someone's name. I love their uh, little image there. It's, uh, it's a bunch of little rabbits. They say, do you think that using an actual stitch marker is better or if I just use some scrap yarn works better? I personally think scrap yarn is, is the best way to do stitch markers because A, you always got it, B, it works easier it's easier to remove you can keep track of rounds prior to the round that you're currently on so you can keep track of all your stitches basically use scrap yarn it's way way easier that's got a good squeak squeak to it okay this part up here is what we need to sew on next right up like this I think that the way that these vein or these artery things that I'm sewing on right now, the vena cava work is that like there's a tube that goes through the heart maybe. I don't really understand how hearts work at all. Oh, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. And yeah, please like this video too. We're trying to get the video to 250 likes. And if we get to 250 likes, we're gonna do a giveaway next live stream. We do a, since we do a live stream every week. Um, last week, we did a giveaway for a uh, dragon crochet kit. So yeah, it is pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. And so we'll do another giveaway next week. Get that, there we go. Boop, boop, boop. We're trying to go for 250. How many do we have? Oh, hey Taylor. Taylor is in the chat now. We were just making fun of you for calling. No, we weren't making fun of you. But we were saying, we were saying, uh, 
uh, you know I'm in a live stream. Why'd you call? But that's okay. Um, Lachlan, hello. Welcome. You're stuck doing paperwork. Well, boo. Boo to that. But maybe we can keep you a little bit of company. And yes, it's still going. We have got... Actually, we're, we're doing pretty well. One, two, three, four stitches. One, two, three, four. That looks pretty good. Actually, you know what? Let's go over here. Um, I, we're doing actually pretty good on time though. This should be maybe like a three hour stream. We still got half an hour to hit that mark. And all we really have to do next is the veins. It's just so on. One, two. But we're going pretty quick. go okay that was pretty good good night from the UK thanks for joining Milo have a great night Do I like the bent needles regular than the better than the regular ones? I found the bent needles by accident and I love them. Yeah, same. The bent needles are like way, in my opinion, way easier to work with. I really like them a lot. Um, yeah, I, I definitely suggest trying to get these crimped end needles. I am actually, I have a bunch of them that I keep meaning to add to the shop, but I just haven't done it yet. So <clears throat> we should have them in the shop soon. Hopefully uh, by next week, but I know I've said that like a bazillion times, so. I'm bad. I'm a bad boy. Okay, so the next thing we want to add is uh, are these two little tiny vein things that we want to put right next to um, where this connects. So we'll go one here and then one to the right of it, right over here somewhere. And I don't know what these are for, but they go there. So that's where they're going to go. I don't understand what they're for. This is, these are actually, no, I do know what these are for. These are for love. This is where the love goes through. Just these little tiny veins. Who would have thought? So it goes through this big one. The love goes all the way through this big one. And then you get more love through these little three things here. And then it comes out of this. So yeah, that, that's how love works, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm, you know what, I'm pretty sure. I'm engaged, you know, I've got a fiance. I, I think I know, I think I know things about love, all right. And how it works in anatom anatomy, anatomy? I'm also really good with words. And if you question me, then shut up. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three, four, and then boom. One, two, wait, one, two, three, four, and then go boom. And then up to this one. There, one. I guess we're going through the middle of this stitch because that's where my needle wants to come out. That's fine. That's fine. I'll live with it. Yeah, there we go. All right, last bit right there. Do that. hook to help get that hole open a little bit more get the love out residual love ooh that could be an album name residual love 
Okay. Pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Alright, next is the very last thing that we need to sew on right here. It's gonna be this little guy. We don't need this one. This little fella right here. Alright, and then we'll go one, two, three. We'll actually just go right here. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, maybe? No. One, two, three. Go. Actually, let's start here. No, let's start here and come out there. That's what we'll do. Like that. Put that closer. Yes, 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 yes. I like that. Oh, you're looking so cute. You're looking so cute. Look at you. You're cute. All right. I sound like I'm talking to Jimbo. That's what I do to Jimbo all the time. I just poke him in the face and I say, You're, you're so cute. Look at you. story one two three and then four will be the last one one two okay so we'll go up 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 hey um really cool news it looks like i'm going to be a host on the project for awesome live stream sounds pretty cool if you guys don't know what that is it's a uh a fundraiser that's put on by the um john and hank green group and they're like they raise money for well they raise money for a bunch of different things but they do this live stream event where it's like a live stream over a bunch of days and uh, they have like people guest host live streams and stuff and they asked me to be one of those people one two one two so that's kind of cool that'd be cool it's gonna I looks like we're gonna be live streaming on the John and Hank Green channel on the um, on the I think that's the 19th whatever that Sun that Saturday is but it's at midnight, so it's technically on Sunday. Yeah, so we're gonna be going, I think it's like, let's see, they just emailed me information about it. Let me look. Yeah, 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on uh, the 18th. So I think that's on Saturday or Sunday, on the 18th next weekend. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. It's gonna be fun. if you're gonna be awake during that time i'd love to have you i'll definitely post something about it next week but it should be fun it should be a fun time i'm not sure what they're expecting from me i was kind of thinking of doing a live stream similar ish to this where i'm just like showing off something and making something live but i'll see hopefully they'll reach out to me and we can do a little meeting beforehand okay we've got our heart made all sewn together. Next thing we want to do, last thing we want to do, is just add some detail. So, also this eyelid can be a little up like that. That looks cuter. Oh, those little veins. Look at all them veins. Okay, so we're gonna start. Let's start with blue and then cover it with pink. So we don't actually need this much. We'll just need a little bit. Keep that to the side. Okay. And I'm going to start by coming out through this side. 
And then let's start with, um, let's start over here. The veins are really fun to do because what you do is you kind of just like outline them with stitches. I don't like it, I guess. And then you want to branch out into little, uh, to little veins. So we'll go out like this a little bit. Here, pick one, we'll come back into this stitch, and then we'll go to the other side. We're just gonna create just wavy little veins, and then we're gonna go back over them with more yarn in a bit. It's just, it's really easy to overdo the veins because they're really fun to make. So watch out for that. good pretty simple just one quick little blue vein on the bottom there and we'll cover we'll cover it with a pink one going over it kind of um, and then all I do once I have a good shape is I start going around the shape like this yeah see and it's gonna create like a bigger vein going through the center It'll help with the, the little veins coming out of it. Um, that's pretty good, actually. I like that one. Cute. We'll go in the same stitch, and I'm just gonna come out through. Let's go all the way across, and we'll come out through up here. And we'll start another one. Actually, I think I want to go even further over, like maybe like. You know what? Okay, you know, let's just double knot this in the back here. And then we'll start a new we'll start a new strand for the next vein. Yeah, like that. Go one. Okay, one blue vein, check. There we go, okay. And then we'll do the other one over, we'll start over here and we'll just go across the face like this. And we'll start coming all the way over here, all the way over there. Okay. Two down. Go two down again. That one, and then we'll come out like this. And we'll go like this. Like that. The same stitch. Here, up through right here, through there, and then we'll come. Go ahead. We'll just do finish it up by going right down here, and then we'll sew our way up like this. We might go twice through this one. One. Actually, no, we'll go through the next one up. So, two. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Then in through. I'm going to go one stitch over so that it doesn't mess up the double knot. Two blue, two blue, good blue veins on the sides of the face are probably pretty good. We'll do a pink ones over them so that they like 
straight over the blue. Maybe we'll do one little pink one, just a tiny pink one up at the top. All right, cool. Squeaker still works. Let's do, I'm gonna do a pink one here that's gonna like kind of go over it maybe. Like that. Yeah, actually we'll have it go like that. And then do a little branch off right here. And then actually I might even have another one, pink one right here going in the back. And we'll do one more pink one right here going over that side. So we'll do three pink ones total. All right, so let's start with this one coming off the side like this and then branching that way. Right here. Actually, you know what? Let's start it actually on the arch, pulmonary arch. Almost all the way through. Okay, that's not bad. I mean, we're just kind of making it up as we go, anyhow. I need to stop saying why. Is that weird? Okay, I'll stop saying it. <laughs> Actually, we're just gonna keep the vein going. We're just gonna go through the back right here. Like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good, you know? It looks, it, it does look funny when you add the veins in, it, it does make it look like very uh, creepy looking, but that's fine. I kinda like things that are creepy sometimes. I used to have this, um, I used to have this retainer that I'd have to wear. Uh, I had like really bad TMJ for a while. And it, when I wore it, it made it look like I just had one tooth, like one big tooth on the top. And I used to go, I used to look over at Jules with crossed eyes like this, with one, with my one tooth. And I go, well, at least mama said we could just afford the one. Anyhow, that's a little inside joke that I thought was really cute and fun. I don't know why I told you, but I did. There's nothing you can do about it. Boom, boom. Okay, let's see what 
with this to see how this works. We'll go one. Act. Round it this way still. Let's do one more kink of the top coming down. So we've got kind of a little thing going on up here. Like the boy who lived. Know what I mean? simple yeah that's nice because it's just not too invasive I, I feel like the veins are getting there's just a lot going on it's really easy to go to overdo it so let's try to let's cut it back there let's take a look I think we'll be done you guys I think we're basically done what do you think let's double knock on this what do you think are we missing anything or do we like what's going on here? Because I think I like it. I like it. Huh? All right. Okay, let's look at it from all the directions. What do we think, you guys? Arch could go over a little bit more. I mean, it's, to me, this looks very clearly like a human heart, but what do you think? Do we like it? Do we hate it? Should I throw it away? Should I burn it? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I just spent three hours on this. I ain't gonna burn it. Why'd you say that? I know. Okay. And for the moment of truth. <laughs> Cute. I love it. Very cute. Big fan. Super cool. Jimbo wants to say hi. Okay, we'll have Jimbo say hi really quick before we go. Um, but yeah, next live stream uh, next week, th uh, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Thursday. Uh, I think it's going to be the 15th. I think it's the day after Valentine's Day, and we'll be making tulips, probably. We, I might change it up, but probably we'll be making tulips. So that should be a lot of fun. Well, I mean, it's gonna be a new design too, so I'm gonna be designing it on the live stream. Uh, if you like this video, again, like down below, subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's the best way to support, and also, uh, if this video gets a few more likes, we'll do another giveaway next week also. So let's let's see, how many likes do we need more? Let's move that out of the way. We have, oh, we almost have 200 likes, I think. Yeah, we are just short of 200. So if this video gets another about 50 likes, we'll do another giveaway next live stream. So make sure to do that. Um, where did I get the thing that makes the sound? I looked up squeakers online. I looked up little miniature squeakers. Uh, that's how I found it. I think I bought it off eBay actually from just some person. Uh, he sold like 30 of them or something like that. Um, yeah, we'll see you next week. If you, uh, if you want to support this channel, you still can create a club for shame membership. It'd be really cool. Um, Special thanks to everybody that created a membership during the live stream, subscribed and donated and or tipped. Uh, thank you so much for all your support. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, this channel literally would not exist without you. So I super appreciate everybody that could support financially. Thank you so much. Um, uh, looks like we have a new member too. So special thanks to Calger, who is the new new pattern member right there. Um, okay, well, yeah. 
I think that's it. Pasta la pizza, happy hooking, and oh wait, we need Jimbo. We need we need Jimbo to say bye. One second. Now be really careful. Switch cameras. Say bye. You smell like kitty litter. Did you just go to the bathroom. Gross. Gross. You're gross. I love you. Thank you. Okay. Say bye. Say bye bye everybody. Why did you want to come in here so bad if you don't even want to say hi to live stream? What? Just to hang out with me? Okay, fine. All right, bye everybody. No, oh my gosh, stop it. You hang up first, Jimbo. Say, tell him, they hang up first. Say, no, you hang up first. There you go, good job. One more time. Say, you hang up first. Good job. So, ta you're so talented, wow. Fuzzy, cute, and talented, nothing better. All right, guys, bye.